Every year when we get to the end of the year, we like to kind of look back at what has happened for the year that has just passed. And we want to take a look into the future as well in order to understand what are the main topics that we need to discuss. Today I talked about bringing together the UX competences and the data science competences, kind of bridging that gap between them, making sure that they understand each other and finding a good way that we can work um, together to solve the business problems. Today I went through a presentation about the trends that have interested me in the past period. There's a lot of focus into designing for uh, transparency and, and trust towards our customers. We are in a period of history where the development will happen faster than ever before. But we also all need to take a pause and consider what the consequences of all the technology will be for the world that we have and the society we want to live in. We have to find a common vocabulary that's so detailed that we're able to figure out where in the process we are as UX and data science. There's too much room for approximations. Doing a lot of tests and putting things out and moving fast proved itself pretty good at the beginning of the uh, past decade, but now it started creating some serious consequences for uh, privacy terms or home devices listening to us. Some decision feels like I've been bypassed too quickly, so definitely take more time, slow down. I think as a business leader, you need to understand the implications of the, the products and services that you develop. You should worry uh, mostly about how effective you are to actually adopt information and put that information into action so that you are not ruling on assumptions and, and just got feelings, but you actually know what the, your customer base is saying regarding your products or your services. Everything is becoming digital. Everything points towards a customer experience that has to be coherent and unique. So this approach of different departments doing different jobs and not talking to each other can keep on. So I think we'll see a lot of heated debates in 2020 about a lot of these areas from gene editing to artificial intelligence to surveillance and facial recognition. So the technology will certainly keep developing, but we also need to take a stand whether we want it or not.